Welcome to the Great No DQ Debate. Greetings to everyone out there in the No DQ Galaxy. Welcome to the Great No DQ Debate here on NoDQ.com, of course, and the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Aaron Rift No DQ. Today's topic will be the right way to protest a WWE event. As we know, fans are often unhappy with certain decisions that are made in WWE. Some fans react in different ways, but most of the time, fans react by making noise. Not positive noise, but negative noise. We've seen it at many pay-per-views over the years. It's called hijacking a show or hijacking a match where the fans will just completely go in a different direction. They will not react to what's going on in the ring. They'll chant for people not involved in the match. They'll do the wave. They'll throw beach balls around. So the question is, is this the right way to protest a wrestling show? So we have Stefan Osborne here, the, the Wizard of Osborne, and Virtue. I wonder if you guys have different opinions on this. Let's go ahead and break it down. So Stefan, what is the right way to protest a wrestling show in your opinion? The right way is the only way that's going to get noticed and that's absence. You Sure you paid for your ticket, but if, if something's going on that you don't like, that is not entertaining to you and you want them to change, don't be there. Now, you were at Money in the Bank. Well, we all you, were. You actually got up and left during Roman Reigns versus Jinder Mahal. You yes, did man. what you think everyone should be doing. If they're not happy with something, leave. Don't don't be there for it. You think an empty arena is this a safe a safe thing to say? Yeah. That you you think the best way is to leave the arena. An empty arena is a better way to protest. Now let me let me clarify. I think that's the best way for them to notice that you're or, or to actually care that you're protesting. I don't necessarily think that is the most uh, that is the best for the wrestlers. I think yes, it can be a little bit of of kind of a slap in the face to the wrestlers that are in the ring because they are just doing their jobs. Right. But there's really nothing nothing else that you can do if you're going to cheer or chant or do anything that way it could still be just as bad right because people are not protesting the entire show necessarily if you're protesting the entire show you might as well just not buy a ticket yep. but yep. if you want to protest one match then you would say the best way is to just leave the building let there be an empty arena on television so that way people in WWE can panic you know they cannot, unless they are able to one day, maybe use CGI effects and superimpose fans in the crowd, or use that. earlier footage, stuff like that. Maybe they'll have the technology one day. But for now, it, it's going to be really embarrassing if you're watching WWE television and you see tons of empty seats. Um, so you think the best way is to just walk out and leave. You got a cigarette, you missed all the chance at Money in the Bank, the beach balls, you missed the wave. Now, Virtue, do you have a different take on this in terms of protesting a match? Yes and no. If you've bought a ticket and you're at the event, because I like 90% of the show, but I hate 10% of it, okay, I get that you want to go to the concessions, you wanna, you, you're going to have to go to the bathroom, you, whatever it is, but you should still, the best way to protest is silence. I don't even think it's walking away. I think walking away is tacky because you paid a ticket to be there. If you didn't want to be there at all, like you suggested, Aaron, then don't buy a ticket at all and don't go. Don't subscribe to the network. Don't watch it. Let everything plummet to ridiculously low numbers. That will make Vince McMahon and the WWE and wrestling companies take notice. If you paid the ticket and you're there, if you walk out, you know, oh, we're making a statement. Look at the visual. To me, could you imagine a, a arena full of people that are sitting in their seats and it's complete silence, yeah. not empty, complete silence while the performers are going on. That would make a statement. And for the people that decide to go into business for themselves, chanting for who they like, um, the wave, the beach balls, that's just, that's fans going into business for themselves. Because people said, I, I keep seeing this, Jinder versus Roman was a horrible match. Please explain to me how it was horrible because you don't like how they were pushed by Vince McMahon to the top because you don't like their characters, therefore they're horrible wrestlers. 
Yes, I know gender botched against Jeff Hardy. A lot of the greats have botched as well. So to me, it's definitely don't disrespect. Yeah, noise is noise. So if they're making, if they're chanting other wrestlers' names, doing the waves, if they're making noise, I believe that's disrespectful to the performers in the ring, but it's still making noise. So if you want to protest, sit in your seat or turn around. Everybody stand up and turn around and don't face it. But the visual of people in the crowd, 10,000, not saying anything, and it won't happen because these guys still have their fans. Roman still has a certain right. amount of fans. A lot of fans, actually. So, yeah, I think walking out is totally toolish just because you've already paid a ticket. You know what I mean? Why not just sit there? If you don't like it, just sit there, play on your phone. But, like, walking out, like, everybody wants a movement. Why? Yeah. Well, to your point, yeah, I mean, they, they wouldn't necessarily assume that uh, this person over here and then, you know, point to one person in each section is leaving. Well, they're not protesting. They're just going to the bathroom or they're just going to go get some refreshments. So it probably is not the, the most effective way to do it unless everybody gets on board. But so is being quiet. Um, quiet being quiet is not an effective way to do it unless everybody's on board and but that's the thing stuff and not everybody's going to be on board it's just the 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 people that don't like these guys in these matches just happen to be more vocal than the ones that do because they are the trollish marks that want the chance to go well there are usually going to be fans that are going to cheer yeah, or, to or even fans that want, are going to boo speech. maybe they like roman but they like to boo his character you know there there are going to be that's fans. there are a lot of fans and i think a lot actually are that way that's you know? fine to me i'm fine with that but um I, I, just because you're making noise doesn't mean necessarily that you're disrespecting at the same time just because you're making noise doesn't mean that you're cheering or that you're that you're getting hype for the match but in, in in the opposite of that there are matches that have gone on on uh, pre-shows there are matches that have gone on on raw or smackdown or pay-per-views that have essentially gotten silence right and it wasn't intended necessarily every time sometimes it's just the crowd is pooped yeah, and exactly. They don't seem to change storylines for those. Right. They don't seem to change anything for those. They just they, they take it as a passing yeah. thing. Everybody was quiet for this match, but we'll see what happens next time. Yeah, and you're right. I mean, as far as disrespecting goes, you could look at it that way. And I know for some guys, they might be disrespected. I know some wrestlers like Cesaro do not like the beach balls. They yeah. think it's disrespectful to the match. But at the same time... You look at somebody like Roman Reigns, does it really bother him? That's the question. And He I, makes $5 million a yeah, year. I was he just going to say, he, he does he really care? care? He, his attitude is, you bought a ticket, you can boo or cheer, do whatever you want, I got your money, and, and that's that. But yep. I think the best way to do it is to leave the arena during the match. And yeah, some might say, well, you're an idiot because you paid the money to show up there only to leave. But you know what? It's one match out of how many matches? 10, 11 matches, a four hour plus show. At some point, you gotta go to the bathroom. At some point, you gotta have a cigarette. At some point, you wanna buy a $35 Jinder Mahal t shirt. $1. Well, I think, I think to Virtue's point, you know, there's always gonna be some fans that are gonna cheer and there's gonna be some that boo. So if you've got, let's say 80% of the crowd last night was not into the Jinder Mahal match. Right. That's probably that's probably a safe assumption. But you know, everybody didn't like Jinder's push to the WWE Championship because he was a jobber previously. They don't like Roman winning the 2015 Royal Rumble and being Vince McMahon's guy. These guys, these two guys, because they went through that, are now really in the mid card against each other. And the fa which really right, the fans didn't want to see these guys push so hard. Now they're in the mid card, and the fans are getting all these other great matches around them, and they're still shitting on these guys, saying that they're bad and they're awful. Right? Are they're not bad and awful? You just don't like the fact they were pushed when they it's were. It's the creative direction and it's what not they're the told, how their characters are told to be by the people in the back on TV. That's what the people don't like. But does Roman suck? Does gender suck? No, no. no. Like as, these, as, no. as individual human beings, no, they don't. They're suck. trained wrestlers. But as characters, I think. 80, like I said, 80, I think a good assumption would be 80% of the crowd, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But if you, if, if you think about 80% of the crowd sitting there in silence while the other 20% are doing what they're doing, cheering, booing, whatever, versus 80% of the crowd getting up all around the same amount of time and filing out. 
what do you think WWE is going to notice more? Because like you said, there are still going to be 20% of the crowd or 10 or 15 or whatever that are going to continue to chant because they like Roman or they're going to boo because they like to boo Roman. Right. There, I think, I, I'm totally fine booing a, a baby face if you don't like them. I think you it would be a huge eye-opener if that kind of, of majority of a crowd actually got up and walked out as opposed to just sitting right. there in silence. I mean, you know, my problem is now that Jinder and, and Roman were in the mid-card and people were still crapping on them, you, you people that don't like them really just want two guys, two pro wrestlers, not to have a job and, and just to go home and pack their bags and find another profession. You know what I mean? Does anybody say that about you guys? No, I don't want and you to do what you do. Wrestling is a very interesting industry. <laughs> there's nothing else like it. But you guys both made great points. I think there's definitely different ways to look at it. But what do you guys think out there? Leave a comment. Do you agree with Stefan Osborne or do you agree with Virtue? Leave a comment. Let us know. Do you like my opinion on it? Give us some suggestions, and on that note, we will see you guys next time for another edition of The Great No DQ Debate.